so let me just start with the point I emphasized in my remarks, which is how impressive it is to see the way our forces are working together. As General Cavoli pointed out, the American forces here in Petrohori have had barely a week to work with their Hellenic Armed Forces counterparts. But you've seen the complexity and the many moving pieces that have been demonstrated in today's exercise. That is the essence of our alliance, the ability to work together, to follow similar procedures, and to have confidence and trust in each other. So, huge thanks to our counterparts from the Hellenic Armed Forces, General Malusis, who's here today, and, and, and of course, Minister Stephanis, but also my admiration to all of the community here in, in Xanthi and in Thrace, who have been so welcoming to our forces, both moving through Alexandropoli and here up at, the, at the, the tank range. And as I said in my remarks, we look forward to coming back. There's great cooperation for us to do even more. Um, I work for a president, President Joe Biden, who is committed to building the U.S.-Greece relationship to the highest level it has ever enjoyed. Uh, there are many elements to that, our people-to-people -people ties, our commercial ties, our student relations, but our defense and security cooperation is also very important. I think the record of U.S. engagement in Alexandropoli, here in Eastern Macedonia and Thrace over the past three or four years demonstrates our ability to deliver on our promises. And we're now working with the Greek government to identify additional sites and opportunities to further deepen the security relationship, which, as I said in my remarks, is important to the interests of my country, but also the interests of Greece, and makes for a safer and more secure region.